A very good morning to everyone. I am Anand Krishna Sharma, lecturer electronics at Government Polytechnic College Bikaner. Today in this video lecture of audio video system, we will cover the positive and negative modulation. We will also check the effect of noise interference on the positive and negative modulation. Then we will briefly discuss the interface suffered by carrier signal. We will check the co-channel interference adjacent channel interference and ghost interference. In last lecture, we have seen that how TV signal is modulated. We have checked the picture signal is amplitude modulated and the sound signal is frequency modulated. We also discussed the channel bandwidth of a TV signal. We have discussed the DSP bandwidth and the TV channel bandwidth for VSP modulation. Start lecture with the positive and negative modulation. When the intensity of a picture brightness causes the increase in the amplitude of the modulated analog, it is called the positive modulation. Here on the positive modulation, we can see that when whenever there is the increase in the brightness, the amplitude or analog of the carrier increases. Here amplitude is increasing as the picture signal brightness is increases here. In the opposite, when the polarity of the modulating video signal is so chosen that the sync tip lies at 100% level of the carrier amplitude and increasing the brightness produce the decrease in the modulation analog. It is called the negative modulation. From the figure we can check here the maximum is the sync tip. Whenever there is an increase in the brightness, that amplitude of the carrier decreases. Here the brightness is maximum, so the amplitude of the carrier is decreased or we can say the minimum. On the opposite side, here the brightness is maximum and amplitude is maximum. So the major difference between the positive and negative modulation is the that whenever the brightness increases, the amplitude increases that is called the positive modulation. In the opposite, whenever the brightness is increases, the amplitude decreases, that is called the negative modulation. Effect of noise interference on the positive and negative modulation. We all know that there are a the lot of noise and numerous sources they produce the noise, but mainly the noise is the white Gaussian profile. So we can say that noise is additive noise. Noise pulse is added and it increases the amplitude of a signal or we can say the spike. It will add it at the instant in a spike on the signal. So what it will produce on the positive modulation and negative modulation. On the picture A we have a negative modulation. On the picture B we have a positive modulation. In the negative system of modulation, noise pulse acts extends in the black direction of the signal. When they occur during the active scanning interval, they extend in the direction of the sync pulses. When they occur during the blinking level in the positive system, noise extends in the direction of the white during the active scanning. In the opposite direction from the sync pulse during the blinking. So we can say that the effect of the noise on the picture is less pronounced when it is a negative modulation. Why? Because when there is a noise, we will have around black spot on the negative modulation. It is going towards the black. On the opposite side, when it is in positive modulation, the noise pulse going towards the white. So whenever there is a noise spot, we will have a, we will see a white spot on the picture or on a television for the positive modulation or a black spots on a picture in a negative modulation. Uh, the raster or the background of the TV screen is uh, grey or black. So the white will shows the more noise than the black. So we can say that the negative modulation reduce the noise because the background is already black or grey. 
And another important thing about the positive and negative modulation is the peak power available for the transmitter. With the positive modulation, signal corresponding to the white has the maximum carrier amplitude. The RF modulator cannot be driven harder to extract more power because the nonlinear distortion will play and it will introduce uh, affect the amplitude scale and picture signal and the brightness distortion will be there. Uh, on the opposite side, the, the negative modulation transmitter may be over modulated during the sync pulse without adverse effect since the nonlinear distortion thereby introduced does not much affect the shape of the sync pulse. Co-channel interference we uh, already discussed that uh, there are a the lo uh, lot of noise uh, sources which interfere with the TV signal. We all know that the thermal and man-made noise uh, are the mainly discussed no noise source. But uh, in the TV, there are a the lot of uh, other sources such as the other television station, radio transmitter, industrial radiating devices and TV receiver. They also produce the noise on the TV signal. When the interfering signal has the frequency that lies within the channel to which TV receiver is tuned, the extent of interface depends only on the relative field strength of the desired signal and the interfering signal. If the interfering signal frequency spectrum lies outside the desired channel, the selectivity of the receiver will reject the interference signal. So we can say, uh, say that the in the selected range of the 7 me uh, megahertz or the channel bandwidth of a particular channel, if there is a frequency spectrum lies of, of uh, other television station, radio transmitter or uh, radio receiver, the field strength or the strength or we can say the intensity of the noise will have the much more effect. We will discuss uh, in briefly. There are the three types: co-channel, adjacent channel, and ghost channel. Uh, first, we will discuss the co-channel interface. The effect uh, we have normally in the black and white TV, uh, we have seen that the black and white uh, bar pattern. Here we can say that the black and white bar pattern on the TV screen. This uh, bar pattern is uh, due to the co-channel interference and sometimes these bar are uh, move uh, towards the up or towards the down uh, if the beat frequency is uh, not the multiplier of the field frequency we will discuss it uh, first uh, what is the co-channel interference what is the beat frequency why we will see that uh, bar pattern the two station TV station obviously operating at a same carrier frequency if located closely then interference will happen. This phenomena is called uh, common and the fringe areas is called the co-channel interference. As the two signal strength in any area, almost equidistance from the two channel station between equal. Phenomena known as the Venetian blind. The Venetian blind is uh, name is given by the Venice because there is a window pattern which is uh, uh, bar there are the bar of uh, gray and white and uh, this phenomena is uh, come from the city venice so it is known as the venetian blind interface occur this take from the horizontal black and white bar superimposed on a picture produced by the tuned channel these bar tend to move up and down on the screen as the strength of the interference signal increases the bar became more prominent uh, until the signal interference ratio became the 45 dB. The horizontal bar are the visible indication of the beat frequency between two interfering signal. The frequency of the beat note which is equal to the frequency separation between the two carrier. It is usually order of the few hertz. Uh, the bar pattern move towards up and down whenever the peak frequency is not exact multiple of the field frequency. In India we have the field frequency of uh, 50 frame. Uh, it is uh, similar to the 50 hertz of the power. Co-channel interference was a serious problem in early te television system. Now it is not that uh, much serious problem. 
The second type of the interface uh, is the adjacent channel interface. Uh, in the adjacent channel, the station, these are located close by and occupy the adjacent channel present a different interface and problem that uh, called as a adjacent channel interface. It may occur as a result of B between any two of these frequency or between a carrier and a sideband. A coarse dot structure is produced on the skin if the picture signal of the desired channel meet with the sound carrier or the lower adjacent channel. And third type of the interface is a ghost interface. Ghost interface arise as a result of the discrete reflection of a signal from the surface of building, bridge or hill and a direct signal. Here that uh, we can say that it is a transmitter and it is a receiver. There is a multipath transmission. First is the direct path and second is a reflected path. So both signal uh, will came towards the receiver but uh, since there is a different different uh, length for the signal uh, to signal so they will reach at a different different time the directed signal usually stronger and assume control of the synchronizing circuit and so the picture due to the reflected signal that arise late appear displayed to the right such displacement picture as known as the trailing ghost picture here we can say that the trailing ghost here the main picture is uh, completing here but uh, at we have also seen the trailing picture that is uh, known as the trailing ghost picture it is a uh, little dis uh, displaced towards the right on the rare occasion the direct signal may be weaker and the two and the receiver synchroni uh, synchronization is now controlled by the reflected signal then the ghost picture cause the direct signal and appear displaced towards the left and known as the leading ghost. Here on the leading ghost, uh, ghost picture is uh, towards the left side. Thank you very much.